Swimmer's ear is an infection in the ear canal, the tube that brings sound to the eardrum. And usually you know you have it because you feel a fullness, an itching, a pain, and, the, and that's usually when you move the ear. It, it hurts when you chew or when you move the ear because the infection's in that ear tube. Ways that this happens, well, the number one reason that these, that these ear infections happen is because people are using these, these uh, Q-tips and they're going inside, inside the ear canal and they're stripping out that wax. Don't do that. That wax is supposed to be there. It's protecting the sensitive skin in the ear canal from things like infection. Unfortunately, sometimes you put, you put a Q-tip there and you get something brown. You say, oh my gosh, that's dirt. That is not dirt. That is wax. Leave it be. And that'll help protect you for, from ear infections from external or otitis externa is what we, what we technically call it. Otherwise, to, other ways to protect it is to prevent ear water from collecting in that ear canal. One tip is a hair dryer after you swim or after you shower if you feel like you have water in your ear you can reach behind and pull up and back that straightens out the ear canal hold the hair, hair dryer about three or four inches from your ear on the lowest setting and you can just sort of dry that water from your ear that way the other way to, to do it is to use some vinegar and rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol, alcohol helps to evaporate that water. So protect yourself from these infections. If you do get one, make sure and get in to see your doctor because there's some drops that you can put in that'll kill the germs and will prevent this from getting worse. You get this drainage and you don't want it to get worse. If that ear canal seals up because of infection, then it's hard to get the medications in to get it cleared. So have a safe summer. Do a lot of uh, swimming, have fun, but make sure if you get a, one of these swimmers here that you get in for treatment and that you prevent it by not using these guys. Don't use these Q-tips in your ear canal. That's a minute for health.